Okay, this is how um, basically to grade the uh, weekly comprehension test. Up here, you're going to notice in the corner, I have uh, three things that I'll always mark down. All of these three, all of these three things are weighed out of 100 percent. So here, the C is for comprehension. The comprehension is going to cover all 10 comprehension questions, and that will be 10 points each. The W is going to count for writing. The writing is the second page in, and this essay is already done by you. This is the one that you're going to do by Thursday. This has to be done in order to give them an example. But this is what you're going to be grading 100 points for, and I'll show you how the 100 points breaks down. Finally, so I don't have to go back up, the last one's going to be V for vocabulary, and there are five vocabulary questions. And these are the ones that are up on the wall, and these are going to be worth 20 points each. Okay, I just had to pause it there for a minute. I want to make sure the last one didn't come out with any sound. So, these questions and I'll, uh, these are found inside the teacher's manual, and you'll be able to match these up. And this student was smart enough to mark down and listen to you what page each question was on. And this is why you have to mark this on the board. Make sure that you give the the students access to the book. They also have to have access to the. Uh, the, the 10 answers on the board and that way the parents will know well your child is not taking this blankly your child had the answers on the board there was no excuse for your child to get a zero so now I'm, I'm very liberal on the first trimester here question three says why did Jackie Robinson promise not to fight back and this person replied Jackie Robinson promised not to fight back because he promised well, this doesn't say that he promised, but why did he promise? He promised uh, so that the players wouldn't hate him and other African Americans would be able to uh, be able to play in the major leagues. That's the actual answer we're going to be looking for next trimester. But here, the person, they kind of explained what they wanted to do, so I gave them credit for it. They capitalized the first letter of the sentence, and they put in punctuation, and so they got full credit for that. The next question here, you're going to notice that they lost 10 points. Why did Pee Wee Reese stand beside Jackie Robinson? Pee Wee Reese stood beside Jackie Robinson because they wanted to be friends. No, they did not want to be friends. It specifically says, and this is why you have to show them on the overhead, this is why they say that Jackie Robinson is my teammate. And that is the exact answer that we're looking for. And if they don't say that, we're not going to give them credit for it. So this person lost the 10 points. They were pretty close here. Why did the players in the Negro Leagues carry their own food? Players in the Negro Leagues carry their own, their own food because they can't go into the restaurants. And basically, to finish the thought, they can't go to the restaurants where their white counterparts went in or into the hotels. As long as um, they had something or the restaurants didn't serve them, they had to go to colored uh, 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 restaurants only. As long as they gave you the information that you gave them, we'll give them credit. And this was pretty good. This person had this figured out. You know, this is a happy face here. Normally I'll say, who has a happy face by their answer? Please share your answer. And then that way the rest of the class will kind of know. Number six, who is Branch Rickey? Branch Rickey was a manager of the Brooklyn Dodgers. He wasn't just a manager. He was the general manager. But as long as I said some kind of a manager, I gave them credit. So they had an idea. Why did Branch Rickey hire Jackie Robinson? Branch Rickey hired Jackie Robinson because Branch Rickey uh, thing instead of a thought or, or think that Jackie Robinson would be a good player. He didn't really hire him for that. He knew that he wanted to hire the best players for his team, regardless of color or whatever else. That has to come from the story. This will not be accepted next report card. But they were, the person was kind of close. So here you're going to see the person was marked wrong. This is why they only got 80 out of 100. What is the hiring of Jackie Robinson known as? The hiring of Jackie Robinson was known as a great experiment. 
Nothing of that was mentioned here. This is why this person lost this idea. Now here, these are 10 points each. If the person does not capitalize the first letter of the sentence or does not put in punctuation here, they're going to lose two points for not capitalizing proper nouns, and they're going to lose two points for no end punctuation. I usually put a circle around if they don't put in punctuation and I will underline three times these are normal editing marks if they don't capitalize things that need to be capitalized and we'll take that off we'll put a minus whatever on the side once again Pee Wee Reese was a Dodger shortstop so that's correct uh, which word best describes Pee Wee Reese and he was loyal now why they work in teams is that if they don't know the word loyal or jealous or angry they're supposed to go over this with their teammates and go hey what does that mean excuse me this is also why you go over this as a teacher and if the kids don't get the idea of where the answer is you need to on the overhead take out your book and exactly show them underline with your finger you can't see me doing it I'm even doing it as I'm saying it but you have to underline and have everybody turn to that page and underline and show them exactly where you got that answer. This way the parents cannot say, boo, you're not helping my child. Hey, we're showing your kid where the answer is. There's no excuse for any child in the room to fail. We're giving no excuses. And this is the way it's going to be when I come back soon. They have to be ready and, and uh, to do it, otherwise they're not going to make it to fourth grade. You're only going to enable them not to make it. You have to enable them to start using their brains. Okay, let's go down to the writing. Now, on the back table, I left you a page that had three of the same essays on it. For students who are... Um, uh, uh, special needs or students who do not have the ability to copy what you're going to do let them copy and you're going to give everybody a little bit of time to do this on Thursdays this has to be done on Thursdays you have no choice it has to be done why we do this is so this serves as an example of when they do this this consists of four sentences topic sentence restating the question so how does Pee Wee Reese prove that he's a true friend so how in the story does Pee Wee Reese prove that he's a true friend to Jackie main idea uh, there are a few ways that 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 Pee Wee proved his friendship period there are no facts that go into a, a main idea then you're gonna get a fact something from the story that's going to go in here and then finally a conclusion and this is how Pee Wee Reese proved he was a true friend to Jackie Robinson so there are four sentences and these four sentences are done by you and copied by the class so when you copy it out and you write it out on Word make a, a page with a couple of copies on it then take it and print out five or six pages if you need to and glue them on to the sheets of students number one who are absent number two students who have difficulty in copying don't not lazy students but only students who have a, a bona fide disability to copying not laziness laziness is not uh, a problem that's theirs they need that example so they can write here and this is what they have to do is they have to copy topic sentence they have to restate the question main idea what are they writing about one um, a fact and a conclusion tell about a time when you had to stick up for a friend my teacher asked me about a time I had to stick up for a friend that's rephrasing it that's your topic sentence okay one time my friend had to uh, had a problem with blank this is how I help them. No facts. Next line is going to be a fact. I helped them by doing blank, blank, and blank. That's going to be the fact. Something that, that goes with the topic sentence. Finally, on the conclusion, and this is about a time when I had to stick up and help a friend. Conclusion at the bottom. Four sentences. All, each sentence is worth 25 points each. This is going to go in the writing area that's up here. 
Finally, the vocabulary area. Now, once again, there are five questions here. There are 20 points each. These five questions are up on the wall. There's no excuse for the kids to get any of these wrongs. They're in front of their face. And they're going to be up there come conference time. And you can show the parents, look up on the wall, ma'am or sir. The answer to, to your child is up on the wall. Why aren't they looking around the room? Why aren't they paying attention? And this is when you see the parents go, ah, uh, you mean it's not the teacher? You mean it's my kid? This is when the great epiphany to the parents happen. This is what covers you when you show the parent that you're doing all you can. Now, when you enter these scores in to um, um, Zangle, there are going to be three scores. And the C is going to go under Zangle, under Comprehension. So Comprehension, you're going to put Comprehension, and for this week is 1-6, Damon and Pythias. So you're going, to put, you're going to put areas, Comprehension, then you're going to put 1-6, Damon and Pythias, and then you're going to put their Comprehension score. And uh, on the short title, I usually put 1-6 COMP COMP. If you don't do it, I will, as long as you tag the beginning part comprehension, and then I can see that it was comprehension, and then I can do that. Next is going to be writing. You're going to click on the writing uh, segment. Then you're going to give them a score of 25, 50, 75, or 100. And then you're going to put 1-6. Damon and Pythias, then we'll have a score for writing. The short term will be 1-6, W-R-I-T-I-N-G, writing. It'll fit in there. Last part of the score you enter is going to be vocabulary for the V. That'll be under vocabulary. You'll put that on the vocabulary heading. You'll put down 1-6, um, uh, Damon and Pythias. And then you're going to put down for the short term 1-6, VOC, vocabulary, and then you're going to give them vocabulary score, 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I'll basically be able to tell from the score what area you did in case, but be real careful and put them C, comprehension, W, writing, V for vocabulary. This will take you anywhere from one to four hours depending on how you do this. If you like to do it, you can. Otherwise, leave it for me. I will pick it up. But this has to be done. We have to record a score for the parents for conference time. We have to have something to show the parent come conference time. We don't have a choice. We have to give them proof of why we're giving them a score. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be glad to answer them. I'm home, except for the, 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 the times when I'm at school or I'm at the wound clinic. I'm not going anywhere. I'm trying to recover. Um, but please get these scores graded, get them answered, and then that way you can help me and we can get this and we can get these kids help if they need help, but we can't get them help without scores. Once again, call me. You have my home phone number. Write me. You have email. And then that way we can get these things graded when we can give the kids credit for what they do or what they don't do. Once you say the test is over, it's over. They get no extra time. Sitting there, staring at the wall, they lose. And you have to make a real good mention of that. So if you have any problems, contact me, please.